Hi, I'm John Hopkins and I'd like you to meet Francis Deng. Francis has written an account of the civil war in South Sudan, the camps in Kenya and his work with the South Sudanese community in Australia. This is an important and inspirational work that needs to be published. At nine years old, Francis was taken away from his village and family and enrolled as a boy soldier in the rebel army. He experienced deprivation and faced many dangers. In that brutal civil war, he lost his mother, sister and brothers. His journey to redemption in Australia is an important and inspirational work. The book is entitled, A Child Escapes, A Boy Soldier's Journey from Civil War to Civic Pride. Francis, what are some of the turning points in your journey to Australia? Oh, thank, thanks, John. Um, a major turning point in my life came when, after four years living in a rebel control camp, um, and spent another year escaping from enemy from one place to another, uh, witnessing boys die, and many other boys were recruited by the rebel army. Uh, my own cousin died in my arm. Um, we finally crossed the border into Kenya, where uh, the United Nations, UNHCR, collected us and brought us to Kakuma refugee camp in northern Kenya. Um, so that, that was much better in terms of peace and security as compared to Sudan. You were a long time in the camp, but how did you get from the camp to Australia? Yes, yeah, so after, after living for 10 years in Kakuma refugee camp, uh, the Australian government through UNHCR uh, came to Kakuma with a program called Lost Boys of Sudan Re uh, Resettlement in Australia. And I happened to be one of those boys uh, that was lucky to, to, uh, to, to be resettled in Australia. So that's that how I arrived here, through a government-sponsored uh, um, uh, resettlement. Um, they saw some good in you. <laughs> what did you do when you arrived in Australia? Yes, I, I was really happy and, and grateful when I arrived here. Uh, so the first thing I did my first year was I got a job in a factory. Um, after working for a year in, in that factory, I saw it, uh, a admission in a university where I did my undergraduate degree and four years later I graduated and, um, and f later on finally got, a, got my first uh, professional job and uh, I now work in the bank. Wonderful. What about your work with the South Sudanese community? Yes, that's another very important uh, work we are doing for the community and giving back. Uh, so we have become part of the leadership and mentoring team, uh, mentoring young people and youth who are dealing with some of the challenges that are facing them in school and in the community and finding work. So that's part, part of work we're doing now, mentoring and counselling them um, uh, to overcome those challenges they are facing. This is an important and inspirational work and needs to be published to a wider audience. We're seeking funding to edit and publish the document. Please, pledge now and thank you.